Which now our next to last comedian, very funny dude, Reno Nevada boy. Let's give it up for Brandon Nelson. Uh, thank you, thank you. You guys are uh, actually clapping like someone good's coming up here. You guys are an optimistic group. Uh, from Reno, Nevada. No, it's not like Reno 911. It's uh, much worse. It's so different here in LA with all the gay people and homeless. I mean, there's gay people in Reno, but here it's like swarms of rainbows. It's like one giant skill factory. And the homeless. I mean, the other day I was on Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, I went to give a bum some change, and he said five dollar cash minimum. And I was like, I don't five bucks. He pulled out his iPhone, so I take credit too. <laughs> Speaking of Hollywood Boulevard, me and my friend went looking for a Michael Jackson star. We found it in front of the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> <laughs> went to City Walk for the first time, and uh, there's this Mexican guy in front of a donut shop handing out samples. Went up and took one, and quickly realized he was feeding his soccer team. I mean, his family. <laughs> <laughs> My sister is clearly the favorite with all her honors classes. Like, hey, I'm special too. I took a fifth year of high school. Not everyone does that. <laughs> usually black people. <laughs> hey, I would know. My best friend's black, and we argue about the usual things. He brags about how he beats me at basketball, so I brag about the only thing that could beat a black in that without it being a hate crime. My job and having a credit score, or better than a credit score. <laughs> My girlfriend has a lot of gay friends. They're real sensitive. Like the other day, I told him to quit acting so gay, and he told me to take my dick out of his mouth. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> My girlfriend recently gave me a nickname in bed. She calls me Geico because I last 15 minutes or less. <laughs> I'm kidding, about 10 minutes, too much credit there. I got the iPhone 5 for when I send nudes, all my penis fits on the screen, all four inches, ladies. I'm just kidding, I got it for Siri because I want to tell a woman what to do and she actually listen. That failed. So you can tell how long couples have been dating about how, how, how happy they are with the answer. Like, how long have you been dating? Two weeks, yeah. Six months, yeah. It's like a year goes by, you guys are still dating? I don't know, am I still miserable? For me, it's four weeks, 33 days, 30 hours, since the last time I was late, I mean. My girlfriend also doesn't want kids. She says it'll affect her career. I don't see it'll affect her making me a sandwich. So, uh, me and my girlfriend moved in, like what normal couples do after dating for a while. You know, I thought it was a good idea, I kind of liked her. Week goes by, not gonna lie, what Chris Brown did makes so much more sense. I thought I'd get a little better. Six weeks go by, what OJ Simpson did makes him seem like a god. If the glove fits, thank you.